you guys. Hey guys. It's time for another Gotham review. This time we're reviewing Gotham Season 2, Episode 9, titled A Bitter Pill to Swallow. If you haven't seen the episode yet and you want to avoid any spoilers, you're going to want to skip this video and come back later because everything we say from this point forward is going to be a spoiler. Tell you what, I think this might have been my favorite episode of the season so far. It's pretty good. Um, the episode with the Joker in the magic show was pretty good too. Yeah, though. that was a really good that episode. Was a really good, <laughs> this one was right up there. Yeah. Though. This was a really good episode. Gordon basically gets run through the gauntlet of Hitmen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it was pretty impressive that he was able to uh, not die. <laughs> And, and the character um, who is kind of like the head of the, all the serial, or not serial killers, all the assassins of Gotham, she's also the actress who plays Missy in Doctor Who, who's the female version of the Master, and she is a phenomenal actress. Yeah, because the character she's playing here is not, like, nothing like Missy at all. Like, right. not even remotely. And it doesn't come off as Missy. And that's sometimes when you only know an actor from one show, even when they're in something else, you, you just see that character. And, no, this is a completely different character. And, of course, they're both villains, so they, they, they share yeah. that in common. But that's really where the similarities yeah, stop. Yeah, but the way they're villains is completely different. But I think my absolute favorite part of this episode was the relationship and the dynamic between Nigma and Penguin. Yeah, that was really interesting. Because it was really cool because Nigma at first kind of wants Penguin to mentor him, but then it kind of comes around to almost be the reverse. Yeah, like Nigma came well saved Penguin in the hopes that he would mentor him and it's like he had to rehabilitate him body and soul mm -hmm. in order to get to that point um, but i don't think penguin's really going to be the mentor in the relationship i think it's going to be about 50 50 i think they're going to teach each other stuff yeah and at the by the end of the episode penguin has basically recovered from the loss of his mother yeah and he is going to come back i think better and more brutal than ever yeah and so i'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with penguin i'm really looking forward to see how that relationship with Nigma grows, and Nigma he's addicted to killing now. Yeah, which is different from your normal view of the Riddler. Yeah. So I'm interested to see where that goes as well. I think my uh, favorite part of this episode was when Gordon's facing down the last Hitman, and he sticks his gun in his mouth. Um, he stops himself because of the captain's story. It's like I can't do that. But then when they get when um, Lee gets the phone call saying that the office officer Parks was killed by this guy he didn't kill. Mm -hmm. You can just like the facial expression doesn't even change on the actor, but you can just see in his eyes where he goes from. I did the right thing to I did the wrong thing, and he just gets just a little bit colder. Yeah. Like, his eyes just, like, they darken or yeah, something. Yeah, like, he, he's so good at just acting with nothing but his eyes. It's mm. it's incredible. It's I'm, I'm really interested to see where Gordon goes yeah. from here. Because, yeah, on some level, he's like, I should have killed that yeah. guy. He's like, if I had killed him, this rookie would still be alive. And it's my fault she died. Yeah. That's where he's at. And I got to think, at some point in the future, he's going to be faced with a similar kind of scenario, and he is going to pull the trigger. Yeah. And what's Captain Barnes going to do when that happens? Yeah. I mean, Gordon, it's kind of been just like a trend. He keeps getting kicked off the force, and he keeps getting back <laughs> on the force. So I'm thinking, is Gordon going to get kicked off the force again when, when, he, when this actually happens? Because it's going to. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of hope not, because that can get still pretty quick. Yeah, it's they keep going to that well if that thing's yeah. a little too much. I would rather something happen to the captain than something happen to Gordon getting off the force. And also, it looks like they are doing the Court of Owls from the Batman comics, which could be really, really fun. Because that was one of my favorite arcs. It was... And I have no idea what it is, so... <laughs> <laughs> it'll be something totally yes, new Yes, it'll for be you. new and surprising but th for me. This, this brotherhood shows up at the end of the episode, and it g gave me a very Court of Owls kind of vibe. So I'm really excited to see where that goes. And I can't wait till the next episode. It looks really, really good. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. 
that's pretty much it for this review. If we missed anything, if we got anything wrong, if there's anything you think we should have talked about that we didn't, let us know down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, and we certainly hope you did, be sure to let us know by clicking the like button and subscribe for more reviews. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.